Okay, I think we're up and running. Yeah, we are. So uh, my name is Marie Maynard O'Connell, and I am the pastor at Park Hill Presbyterian Church, and this is my son. And together we are doing the uh, Time with Young Disciples, the children's moment for our online worship uh, this Sunday. And so hopefully you've all just watched uh, the video, uh, How Germs Spread, which is the video we would have shown in worship this Sunday for our children's time to everybody. Everyone would have gotten to see that. And so now I want to talk about why we would have been showing that video in worship this Sunday. Do you have any questions, Kevin? Well, um, it's about the coronavirus. Can it majorly affect children? Okay, actually, that's a really good question. Um, what they're finding is that the coronavirus is not as serious for children as it is for adults over the age of 60. Okay. And for anybody who already has a pre-existing health condition. So if someone is already sick, especially with like a lung sickness, um, uh, it, it could make them very sick. For people who are pretty healthy, like you and me, it might just feel a little mm -hmm. bit like um, a bad flu. It comes with a cough and a sore throat and tightness, shortness of breath. But for other folks, it could be really serious. Okay. What did you get from the video? Well, it mostly stuff that I already knew, but I didn't know that um, a lot germs can usually hide out on gaming devices, which is why I became concerned because I am playing on my video devices a lot. I know you are. I'm trying to get them to not touch the the, the table because it shakes. Yeah, including the way since we're that's home, pretty much our only gaming device. Yeah, so since we're home, we're we're watching a lot of television and uh, we're playing with a lot of gaming devices. So yeah, we might want to find ways to clean that. So here's my question: Why do you think I recommended that we? Uh, wash our hands, but more so, why do you think I, we recommended our church decided that we would stay home from worship this Sunday? To prevent the spread of the coronavirus, and even though if coronavirus doesn't su doesn't majorly affect children, like it doesn't affect it as, us as much as it does people over 60, it, we if children have it, they can still spread it. That's right. Children can spread it. And if you're not think, immune to it, you're certainly not immune to it. In fact, uh, kids are, are sometimes uh, covered in germs and able to spread it really easily. But I want you to think about our church. Do we have a lot of people who are both young and both old? <laughs> oh, yeah. So it, it, what that means is that there's could be a chance for some of us who are young to be sick with the illness and not even know it and then to spread it to people that for whom it could be very dangerous. Mm -hmm. And so one of the ways that we're going to care for one another and to show love for the people in our church community and in the city of North Little Rock and Little Rock is to stay home for a couple weeks. Yeah, we're not, my family is not even allowing guests into the house. Yeah, we're not allowing guests into the house. So if friends wanna play, the neighbor kids, they have to play outside. And I can't even go into my friend's house. So it's, I think some of the other changes that are really hard is that for me, I was taught to cough into my hands like this and then to go wash my hands. Um, but you've been taught something better. Yeah, the chicken wing. Show me the chicken wing. <coughs> well, now show it on the screen. <laughs> That's Sorry. right. I actually did have to cough. I know, there you go. And so I've learned that the new way to cough that's better, it's healthier, is to cough into the, the cloth at your elbow, press it real tight, show me how. <coughs> <coughs> or in your shoulder, which is even harder. <coughs> also and, known as the crook of your elbow. Yes, <laughs> also known as the crook of your elbow. Uh, and so, so that's what also, they're recommending we do. Even though you chicken wing, it's still a good idea to turn your head away from the other people. That's why I was looking away. That's right. Very good. Thank you. So that's why you were looking away. Well, I don't want this video to be too long, um, but I wanted everyone, especially the kids, to know that one of the reasons why our church is not gathering together in person uh, in the building this week, because our church, is our church just a building? No. No. What it, makes up a church? Um, well, also... It has the Holy Spirit and the entire congregation. That's right, the congregation. And the congregation and the Holy Spirit are present wherever we are gathered. 
And so our church is meeting in their own homes this week and online. And so we're also encouraging people to take care of each other by calling people on the phone and uh, texting them and, and instant messaging and asking how people are doing. Because some folks might need some supplies. Not the banana phone but that I sometimes do. No, not the banana phone. Some folks might need supplies. Some folks might need food. Some folks might just be lonely and bored because they're home by themselves. And yeah. so that's how we're going to be the church this week is that we are going to take care of each other and look out to take care of the people who are also at home. So Kevin, thank you for helping me to do this children's moment. Will you say everybody bye? Everybody bye!